<laughs> 48 hours. Look, I'm coming apart here. <laughs> My brain does not function. I don't know why they put me on the broadcast. <laughs> Blaze, what were you oh, thinking? Oh, the Monkey King. He's in the fount. Oh. Oh, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Inspirational, incredibly he's gonna do it. Oh, no. The oh, there's one more. No. Oh, and he gets away. Look at him just scuttle away. He's, he's scuttling oh, away. Look at that big the smile trying on to catch his face. Him. He's, he's running like, for him. Oh, yeah. I just like, committed you murder. You little shit. I committed Get murder. <laughs> oh, he did. Uh, yeah, I don't think you win this on the Terra Blade. I hope you're showing you do. Do you? Not once. Once yeah. you have Jingo, I think you're fine. I mean, this is only 25% life steal. It's not that much. Yeah. Like, Kitaro's just gonna try to run him down. Like Jim Park knows he ain't winning this until your boy show up. Get him. Oh, there's your leech seed. The, the nice little regen. Nice shard block. Okay, now you're forced to fight. This is a reflection. All right, interesting. What is going on, man? We said no shenanigans. Uh, well, they're offlaning the Monkey King into the Terra Blade. That's what's going on. Are they? Treads, but most likely the Midas. Yeah, I'm f I'm totally fine with him just rushing the Midas here. I think that seems pretty good. No, he's doing a decent job of dodging out to the potential for these uh, tide bringer hits Top on lane. There. Snowball to buy him some time, but you're stuck inside of this nature's grasp, and Surge will come through. But I think oh, he just barely gets the kill in time on Benjaz. But Tree and Protector, he's the real carry now, baby. Just grasp, and you're like, huh. My uh, HP's gone. It hurts, it does. <laughs> that hurts. Dyer is scanning for enemies. Probably hoping to catch a glimpse of them. And regen for the invoker. It looks like Analog to try to make a rotation down oh, to the bottom line. Speaking of bottom, Barker goes down and now Kara on the run. Spells are already spent. And this is looking pretty good for this bottom lane. One more frostbite, but one They're more auto attack to come here. through. PP with a... Uh, Oh, Tornado is going to... Nah, he timed it. Nicely done. You never make that mistake on the Kunkka. Always time the exit of the boat correctly. Not good enough in this game. Meanwhile, top why. lane. Found the strike is available. They do catch him with a cold snap and a snowball to buy some time. But the ion shells do and work. Kataro saved by that living armor. The question is, will he survive the whole time? Nah, Benjaz will finally run him down two deaths in the top lane. But Analog will clean up one. He's got a, He's got earn charges now. Oh, but they managed to surround him. These ion shells still taking the snowball coming through, and that will find a double kill for Benjaz as Parker almost finds a kill there onto the Wind Ranger. Will maybe jump for more. Found the strike does come through. Tries to tower, but gets the wind run. Frostbite comes through, but the dive, it's so deep. They're getting punished for it heavily here, but Parker will be saved thanks to the shards from Demon. It's gonna block him off. Parker's yeah. in the trees. It looks like he's gonna be able to get out of this one. I could Did they see him pop there? They didn't. No, uh, not at all. Okay. Yeah. A lot of fighting already. Six to six, oh. just over seven minutes into this game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well so he doesn't have killing it. Going and killing a monkey king is much easier. On the tree and protector is much easier, though. Vacuum back in. Gardic. They're deeping in these heroes, though. Analog is here. It's a cold snap with the urn. The tornado coming through, and it's going to be enough space for Gardic to get on out. They managed to get the shackle holding him in place, but this Wukong's command just chewing through their health. Shards to block him off, but a nice disarm. It's not going to be enough to save the invoker as Kunkka making his presence known now as well. The X into the boat. They clean up too big in the top lane, and the tower soon to fall as well. A beautiful aggressive mood here from the side of Ravens. Like, now he's gonna be pretty far behind them. They do catch Katara with the shards, but not enough. Uh, They're gonna try and punish so. Demon here. Spirit Vessel's done. They need their charges. It will catch the Tusk at least for the moment. Tree and Protector trying to chase him down through the trees. He's got the snowball, he's got everything, but it will force that one out. Response from Ravens though. They're smoked up. Beelining it down here. Shards do come out to try and block him off, but Analog gets caught with a Wallace Punch, but a nice overgrowth onto four. Freezing Field as well, but Analog. Running low, out of mana, the perfect Ooh, vacuum back. back. Okay, Alliance punished again, and Heapy with a massive cleave there to take down the Wind Ranger. They read it so perfectly. I think they're up them uh, pretty hard right now. It's to be 
increase oh, the damage rate and then take the bottom tier one as well. They know about There's this. There's no way they get away with this. Yeah, yeah they, they knew about this. Heroes over here. Ward scouted. You have you the have blink. You have a blink dagger down the darks here. Yeah, baby. Uh, Let's go. This is what I'm looking for. Shard's oh, coming through. No, no, it will no, scout no, no, him. No. Kataro. Gotta be careful. Oh, Benjaz goes in. There's gonna be the wall. The nice freezing field as well. Terrorblade needs to find a Sunder target, but he's not gonna get the chance. BP takes him down with the boat. Gardic on the run, but the chase continues. Beautiful shard block there. Let's lose the tree of protector. So two go for Ravens as they're going to turn their attention on over this Roshan in just a moment. The blink reveal from the Dark Seer does work as he's also got an Aghanim Scepter queued up and the normal punch is just devastating for the hero like Terrorblade. I mean, they just dropped like the, the back wall combo on the TV. He's ended up tearing him apart as well. Maybe, but right now he's just got Manta, Scotty, Hurricane Pike queued up. Oh, so. speaking of Manta, he means a Manta dodging the Shackle Shot and El Micho, and he's just healing him down. Oh, yeah, he's Parker. He's a gamer. Also manages to find Gardic as well. Two more kills for the side of Ravens, and they're really starting to pull away with this game. An Aghanim Scepter queued up once again here for the Monkey King, and top net worth with the Kunk Seer. Like, Kunkka's BKB, you can get out of Overgrowth now. Like, the, that team fight potential Wombo combo is not going to happen. Plus, obviously, you're 4,000 gold away from it on your Invoker. So, he's not uh, not getting there anytime soon. Chase here onto the Broodmother. The Walrus Punch comes through. Nice Shackle Shot of Vitaly. He's going to get brought down. He even managed to commit the Overgrowth, and Gardic gets sniped on the shards. Dude, the increased shard length there. It, it, that's yeah, the, that's the killer. Yeah, I sit there and wait instead of walk back towards the enemy team and yeah. uh, Jim Park just chase them down into their base. Bottom lane, analog. Uh, and uh, the chase continues shackle, but they, cause they end up stacking with the tornado. They definitely don't have the damage, but just these three heroes, right? They actually dropped the Alacrity onto the Terra Blade, and he's buying time with his Wukong's command, but a nice wind run holding Monkey King in place. He just solo zones them out. Sunstrike, not nearly enough damage. The Monkey King will survive, but a Walrus Punch on the backside catches the Wind Ranger and Parker. He's hungry, man. He wants more blood. X boat on the backside. Manages to catch Analog. A random sentry will do the trick. The BKB comes through as Kara snaps the kill. And they lose here after here. They haven't gotten a kill in like 10 minutes. Yeah, it was, I think it was like six to six at like It was six to six at like eight minutes or something, like, wasn't yeah. it? They have gotten 16 kills. Manta? Oh. Been a single year can he actually hold his ground here? All right, he can. He's Parker kind of getting baited, but you're right. He does have the Aegis, the Aghanim Scepter doing some damage, but a nice power shot to clean him up. So Aegis popped. Parker will be fine here. Just trying to force a response, but also just trying to put that Aegis to use as it was going to expire in just about a minute. Yeah, I mean, they're doing it. Wow, that tier one tower still stands in the mid lane. That is, that is rough. Yep. But uh, yeah, you're right. They are trying to push multiple lanes. Kataro does have his Eye of Scotty. He's just inching closer to that BKB, but Infinity are going to force, or Infinity, Ravens are going to force the fight here. They are up on the high ground. Wukong's command is available. They don't have an Aegis, but they're willing to, to just risk it. Tier three goes down. That's going to give him another fortification available. You got tough sitting behind uh, Parker here. Like he's ready to jump in, hit him with a snowball and save him. And then all of a sudden you're surrounded by these like, soldiers that are beating the shit out of you. And then boat comes in and he keeps the monkey king alive even longer. Like it is just way too hard to fight into them. So yeah, take the bottom it. melee racks and uh, Kataro. Bottom bottom he's found. Terror Blade X into the boat, dropped immediately as reinforcements come through. Yep. And Roche is back up. I didn't see how fast that respawn was, but it was quite quick. Scout this out. He knows something is up here. Does have the overgrowth. Do they have a sentry? I don't think so quite yet. Dude, imagine the steal of the game right here. I don't think it's possible. Sunstrike does come through. Tree and Protector. He's like, all right, all right. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Go for it, Gardic. Do it. You don't overgrowth. Don't uh -oh. do it. Don't Wukong's do command. It. Oh, God. <laughs> you know, yeah, you, to see he it. went for it. You know, he went for it. Mid lane, El Nisho gets uh, grabbed as well as Dark Demon. Dude, he's having a great game on the Tusk. Yep. Illusion. This guy is having the time of his life. I mean, he's 1,500 gold away from the Eggs uh, Scepter as well. Alright, that's just an illusion. Stay calm, everybody. 
Well, anyway, 1,500 gold away from the Agnum Scepter Oh, well. what We've a man to dodge style points Just there. Just need people. But anyway, you got Monkey King with an Aghanim Scepter on your high ground. He's just going to beat down these, uh, oh, a late fort there. So no flak to clean up this catapult. That is rough. Ooh. Well, I mean, this is your, you've got to find a way into this fight. The question is, how do you do it? Parker on the front line here. A Manta Dodge there to stop that. Jumps onto the Wind Ranger instead. He's like, never mind. I don't need to overcommit. Nice Gale Force, but again, they don't really have any follow-up here. The Overgrowth was used at the Roche Pit. They lose another Melee Barracks as the ranged. He's found then the BKB instantly from Kataro, though. Analog on the backside. He will just fall first. And Kataro will BKB TP home after he finds a kill there onto the Crystal Maiden. Gardic will get found here by Dark Demon as he tries to find some shelter in the trees, but not going to happen. You know, you, you chase out of the base, you pop your BKBs, your meta, and you get a 5. It's not ideal. Well, I mean, it's something. They've managed to find two kills on this Crystal Maiden the last, like, like 25 minutes of the game now. And they are so demoralized. They just GG out. Yeah, hold on. I gotta see this. What is the last Crystal Maiden's kill score here? Dude, she has half of 50% of Raven's deaths are the